A really great accessory for RVs is a backup camera, and they're commonly found in Class A motorhomes. But hey, what if you don't have a Class A? What if you have a, a travel trailer being pulled by a truck, or if you have a Class C motorhome? It'd be nice to have a backup camera also, but you know, to get one installed as an aftermarket uh, project, you got a lot of cables to run, it takes a long time, it's pretty complicated. But there's a product out there called the Voyager Observation System that makes it really simple. It's a wireless system, you don't have to run many cables, and the hookup is fairly simple. You start with a color camera that's pretty easy to install and we'll show you how to do that in a few minutes but what happens is it wirelessly transmits the image into the seven inch color screen now you can see what's going on behind you it's the definition is, is really really nice there are a number of uh, mounting options for the seven inch monitor including using this bracket that has a suction cup and there are other ways of doing it too and we're going to work on that a little bit later but for right now, we're gonna start at the back of the motorhome. So, hey Bill, you ready to get this camera installed? I am, I've got the bracket and the right. screws. Just let's, bring let's that her, up. Let's get her going. Yeah, I've, I've kind of got an idea where I want to put it here. So, I need to pick up power from the clearance light here. So, I'm gonna put it right below and I'll just drill a hole cut right up through there. I think you have it under control. So here, take the camera. You don't need me, it's all yours. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is find the location for our bracket and then mark it. Okay, once we do that, we're going to pre-drill the fiberglass so we can uh, screw the bracket to the, to the wall. Then we're going to remove the clearance light so we can get access to the wiring. On this motorhome, we have a bezel that sticks out from the sidewall. So what we're gonna do is in order to route our cable from the camera to the, the, the place behind the clearance light, we're gonna drill a three quarter inch hole right on the bottom lip of that. Okay, then once we get that done, we need to mount the bracket. To do that, we're gonna use a single screw just to hold the bracket in place just for the first few minutes. Now since we have the bracket in place, it's being held by the one screw, we're going to use a rubber silicone on the three other holes so we can screw in the other three fasteners. And then what we'll do is we'll pull out the other screw, put some more caulk in that hole, and then retighten it. Okay, we're gonna route the cable from the camera into this bezel area behind the clearance lights. Now, we have to figure out how much of the length of the cable we need so we can set the grommet. Now, this bracket has a couple nylon washers that you use, so when you insert the uh, camera itself, it'll keep it real secure. Now, it's really difficult to do that because we, we actually need another hand, so to eliminate the, the need for a third hand, we're gonna scotch tape these uh, nylon washers right to the bracket itself. Before we route the cables, we're going to want to secure the camera to the bracket. In order to do that, we're just going to use two of the Allen head screws at first. Okay. 
So the camera is pretty well you know, secured for the moment, and now we're gonna feed the cable through the hole, and then we're gonna use a small screwdriver so we can set the grommet. We're going to now butt connect the wires in place. Now, if you're not confident that you know exactly which is a positive wire and which is a negative wire, you're gonna to wanna to use a voltmeter or a multimeter and, and then you know, probe the wires to make sure that you know which one is positive and which one is negative before you make the connection. Camera now is, is in place, uh, and then we want to make sure that the that the antenna is in the vertical position. And then all we have to do is install the two remaining set screws. So Bill, we have to find a place for that seven inch monitor. And, and you know, it comes with this bracket here that has a suction cup. For the and, windshield. Yeah, but I don't but know where we're gonna put it. No, let's find a better place for it. I, I would uh, like to have vision from like here. Here maybe? Like about. Here, hold, let me hold that. Let, yeah, me, let me do this here. You know, that's, here, a, that's a, a good, bit more. you know what, that's a good place. Oh, that's good, That's that'll work really nicely. So what we're gonna do, I guess we're gonna have to drill through here. Yeah, I'll just drill four holes, then we'll go right into there, and so it'll be really pretty much permanent. And we'll come now, he could pop it off if he wants to. It comes right off with this piece here. Here, why don't I take this off? Yeah, we're gonna need to take it off, because I'm gonna have to, as a matter of fact, I can mount it on the back there while you're drilling in there. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so why don't you... Uh, Here's a, you know, here you go. All right. There's the screws right there. Okay. So let me... Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-drill these okay. with a little bit bigger hole. And I'll get this thing screwed in real quick. And we got that, um, that ball in the back there, so it, it'll give us a little bit of versatility. No, I think it's a great idea. 
And if I can do this without drilling a hole through my leg, it's even better. Yeah. If you can go through your leg, then we can just mount it right to your leg, and then it'll you know have more. Uh, but then I have to go over where they go. Yeah. Then you will have to donate your legs to the to the project. You look the same. I could do that too. So you can see that, that there are a number of places you can hook this up, but right in the middle here, there's like a detent, so I think it's got the most solid you well, know, and connection. Well, you know, obviously with a Class A or a truck or something with a bigger windshield, it, it'd be easy. You could just set the thing right in place. Right. We're kind of, this windshield is so small. Okay. You got that on there? Yeah, we're ready to roll here. You want me to hold that once you get in place? Yeah, let me get it. Okay? Let me kind of. You got it straight. I think it looks no pretty tape. good there. Yeah, perfect. I think that looks good. All right. You want to give me the give me the screwdriver and let me just set one of these. There you go. Yeah. And then it'll be easier to. You're hold. actually gonna screw that in manually, Bill? Well, it's plastic if I use the... If you do it, actually. You want to hold that? Yeah, it'll be a problem if you try to screw that in. Yeah, if I do it if you use with the screw, screw gun, it's... Yeah. It's nice with actually that rubber suction cup in the back oh, actually, gives it a little bit of padding. It so. acts like cushioning, yeah. So I think it'll work good. And then I don't have to... I can kind of... Yeah, you're in good shape there. Oh, perfect. All right. How's that straight? Looks like it is. Oh, I think we moved a little bit. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and okay. I'll just hold that real tight for you. All right. Okay, let me get. Hey, we, we wanted you want to put this wiring together while you're. Yeah, what we're gonna do is we. It. it comes with a harness here that uh, it's actually got multiple connections. We're going to hook up the, the positive and the negative so we get power to the to the monitor itself. But there are also a number of connections here if you want to hook up some additional side cameras, and which is really a nice feature. But we're not going to need that for this installation because we're just going to go with the rear with the rear camera. And then to hook it up to power, and you could hardwire it if you wanted to. But this also gives you a you know the uh, uh, accessory type of plug here you can plug it right into the dash and so to get there you have to connect this cable here with this cable and find the right one so we're just going to go ahead and and plug this in it's ready to roll all you have to do is make the connection so there's no no uh, crimping or soldering or moving any kind of wires around now one of the things that's a little bit difficult to get at is to try to get these plastic tubes within each each tube so one little, a little tip here that we, that we can do is that we can use a little bit of uh, hairspray and you spray it onto the... Hey, Billy, you want to put some on your hair there? <laughs> yeah, would you hear? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> put a little hairspray it's in there. It's windy in here, huh? And it'll make it slick so it'll fit inside of it and make it a lot easier to do. So there you go. Did it work? It works perfect, see? Otherwise... Now, the problem is i got hairspray all over my hands. Mm. I'm going to figure out... I think I have a paper towel here. Oh, there you go. Now I we're do. going to hook up the ground. There you go. It's a great little tip. When every time you're trying to get, anytime you're trying to get, you know, plastic on plastic, hairspray, oh, really makes it smooth. Yeah, and I've even used to use it on the uh, motorcycle grips or bicycle oh, yeah, grips. Exactly. So when you go to put them on, after right. it dries, they mm -hmm. stick. So there you go. Now we're connected really nice. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to hook this. First, we're going to mount the uh, Not the uh, unit. You have it mounted here. on here? Okay. Yeah, I think we're just, and I think we, there's a number of adjustments in there. It's pretty simple. Once we do that, we're just going to hook up the cabling to it. Okay, now we can move that. Now you have to keep so this let me, antenna. Uh, this on is the loose vertical. here. Yeah, no, you know what? Let me see. You know, that's about perfect, Bill. Oh. That one's tight. That's tight. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. So, okay, now all we have to do here is hook up this connection here. You got that in? And we got some cabling that we have to deal with. I think we could just tuck it up maybe right mm. under the dash. It's not going to be perfect, but I think it's, you know, it's easy just in case we want to get to it later on, just kind of tuck it up under there. What do you think? I think so. Okay. 
I don't know. Can you get that one on that side there? I think we can go that way. There we go. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Okay, and all we have to do is connect it. Now we have to do is plug, plug it in. You plug it in. Yep, go for it. Okay. Now, what we have here is we have a little sunshade here that could be mounted to it, which snaps in place. And there you go. The antenna clear. The antenna's clear. Okay, hey, Bill, this looks pretty good. It's mounted okay. It's in a great position. It's solid, yeah. So now I guess we just got to pair it. It's not, and then it's pretty simple to do. I guess there's a button in the back of this, there's a button back there, and we'll make it happen. So I'll go uh, do the camera and you do right, the now, monitor. I, now, Bill, I'm going to push this button. You got 60 seconds to push that button. Well, just let me know. Okay. Okay, in order to pair this thing, I'm going to have to turn on and push the button in the back, hold it for a few seconds. I've already turned on the clearance light so the uh, camera will be working. So here we go. I'm going to get in the back here. Okay, now, right now we're having a countdown. We're at 55 seconds. Hey, Bill, it's time to uh, push the button back there. Now, there's a countdown here. You get 60 seconds for Bill to push the button on the camera, and then this thing will pair. And once it's paired one for, okay, pairing successful, we're ready to roll here. Now, Bill, I need you to adjust the camera. It's a little bit too high. Okay, bring it down. There you go. A little bit more. Bring it down. Okay, perfect. Okay, we're set. We're ready to roll here. Now we can do some backing, not have to worry about obstacles, and it'd be really nice if we're trying to get into a site and not don't want to hit picnic benches or anything that's out there. Hey, it looks good, Bill. I'm going to back her up. Okay, it looks good. Come on back. Come on back. Now, how's it look? Looks great. Come on back. The one thing that's nice about this thing, this is a digital, this has digital technology. So therefore there's very little interference. So, you know, you get clear picture under almost all conditions. You have a camera back there that's uh, weatherproof. So you don't have to worry about rain and snow and all the rest of the stuff. This is really a nice setup and it's all wireless, very easy to install. And we're ready to go RVing.